It's so funny actually, like when I, back before I had anything, I actually just spoke to uh, my agent at the time. I'm just like, all right, I want to be a Bond villain. <laughs> I want, if, and, I, and I swear if I'm not in a superhero movie in the next six years, I quit. <laughs> and we're getting close to that. So much hype around the show, so much excitement, so much curiosity. Yeah. How do you feel on the eve, on the verge of sort of letting the world see Transplant? Um, well, I just saw the first episode yesterday for the first time. And? And I'm, I'm really excited. Yeah. Like, I mean, I was excited before, but now it's uh, to, to see what everybody did and to see what we all did. It's, uh, I'm, I'm ready for people to see it. For a lot of people, they're going to be introduced to the show, but they're also going to be introduced to you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's some really interesting things about you. You really? studied, yeah, yes, as a matter of okay. fact, <laughs> uh, you, studied, we'll see. you studied neuroscience? Yeah. But then from that, you pivot to accounting? Because that's what, you know, we're supposed to do. Okay, but yeah. okay so this is, this is then the question. And ultimately, you decide you want to make a go at it at yeah. acting. Yeah. What are these conversations like with your family? Okay, uh, like very easy, you know? Really? It's more the, uh, and, and, I, and I hope, you know, brown people watching this at home, I think, I think the anticipation to uh, the, the, the stress around having to talk to your parents yeah. is much worse than the actual conversation. So what was the conversation like? And I was just like, yeah, I really don't want to do this. They're like, what do you mean? You're doing so well. And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like dreadfully unhappy. And I'm like, I kind of really want to be an actor. And my dad was just like, ah. You should have told me earlier. I would have sent you to NYU or UCLA. <laughs> and I was just like, wait, hold on, where's this coming from? So it was just that because I knew I was supposed to do something, I was I didn't want to have the conversation. But once I did, my dad was like, what's your plan? I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, okay, let's make a deal. And then as soon as I graduated, I was just like, all right, dad, going to LA. And he's just like, did you graduate? I'm like, yep, okay. And that was it. And then I came back to Ottawa, thought everything was cool and tried to figure things out. and. In the beginning, yeah, like cab drivers, convenience store employees, terrorists, and uh, and you know I'm fortunate that I again had uh, you know the courage to speak up about it and ask my agents that I know I know these are the roles that are available and we could probably do some resume padding with these things, but I really don't want to do this. Yeah. So let's 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 not do this for a couple of years. And they were just like, sure. You know, I was a child actor in Ottawa. I had an mm -hmm. agent and everything. Yeah. I was in a, 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 cart, a Christmas cartoon. I did the oh. voice of uh, Blue Toes, the Christmas Elf. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it's a classic. Can I get a little? Uh... No, 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 the voice doesn't go that high anymore. Uh, come, on. <laughs> come on. So how, do you, how does it make you feel as you look back at the journey that you've been on, uh, where you tell your agents, uh, cab drivers, terrorists, uh, convenience store owners, like, and now you see you see what you're doing. You see the role that you are going to be sharing with the country uh, and the story that you're going to be telling. How does that make you feel? Good. Yeah. I mean, alhamdulillah, everything is just, it just feels, it just feels good.